chairperson of the Young East African Leaders Association addresses young leaders. We've grown as humans, as leaders. We've become more focused and committed to the development of our countries and the continent. We used to be strong, but now we are a family of warriors who work hard side by side. Our goal of a united, peaceful, prosperous, and well-developed Africa is a reality. As we, the young leaders, be connected to our passion, our hopes and dreams have triumphed over hardships and obstacles. During our time in the different institutes of the United States, we shared precious moments that we will cherish in our hearts for the rest of our lives. We inspired each other by the amazing work that everyone is doing back in their countries. From those who are fighting violence against women to those who risk their lives in conflict zones working tirelessly on reconciliation and peace building. To the entrepreneurs who are building innovative, sustainable solutions every single day. And we remember our dear fellows who devoted the days and nights to reform the public sector. We have never been prouder to witness and be part of the change that you build, that we build as Mandela Washington fellows. My dear fellows, I believe that we are the change we want to see. And the spark that ignites positive change begins with an individual. So thank you, my fellows, for strengthening my belief. She sits down with us. Uh, one of the highlights and, uh, of, of my life, and I'm very proud of, I've been the first female mechanical uh, engineer in Sudanese sugar factories workshops since its establishment in the 1960s. Uh, so this was like an achievement and a message for all the women in Sudan that you can go places that, you know, for society and other people, they think that they are not allowed uh, to be there. Um, and also I'm actively involved in uh, youth, women's and girls' empowerment activities and um, organizations. I was a capacity building uh, consultant for the Sudanese Young Leader uh, Program. Uh, we train uh, young Sudanese between the age of 18 and 30 on different uh, topics like uh, leadership, uh, community mobilization, uh, community engagement, to have more actively leaders and, and to take the journey, you know, uh, in, in, in developing Sudan. After the Ali, I started my own initiative, uh, It's Sisters. And my, in my initiative, I work with women and girls in Sudan. Uh, so I launched like a Facebook group. I have 14,000 followers. Then I started to do like some training uh, workshop. I'm trying to work with young women in Sudan to build, you know, their confidence and to show them that they um, can go out of their comfort zones. Uh, also, I do some, uh, I train them on, on interview skills and how to apply for jobs because you know in, as women we need uh, to equip uh, ourselves more uh, you know like to compete in the job market so this is one of the challenges that we have here we have in Sudan and in Africa uh, the situation in Africa is not that easy even sometimes when you feel that you are about to quit you can just you know SMS your friend like uh, I'm going through this uh, how I can do it or I need your help so yes, so it's helpful from different ways, not only you know, at personal level and at professional level. The stories out of the Sudan generally for the, for the layman, usually what they hear is crisis or famine or drought or whatever the case may be. You offer a different narrative of the Sudan. And I want to ask you, when you think about the challenges facing your country, what is it that you hope for the future of Sudan and what what role would you like to play in that future? I do agree with you. I think that many people they just you know hear like about the negative stuff in Sudan but actually in Sudan you can find like you know 
uh, some people who are doing a really very good job, especially you know, for the young people of Sudan. They are trying their best to change the narratives. And women in Sudan now they are doing very well. You can find like engineers, lawyers, uh, scientists, every discipline you know you can find uh, women. Uh, and it's a good point that we need like to work more on reflecting the positive side. And uh, for me, as uh, a young leader from Sudan, of course, uh, I hope for a united, peaceful, prosperous, you know, Sudan. Because for me, Sudan is rich, you know, Sudan has all what it takes to be a leading country. We have the natural resources, we have the people, we have everything. But we lack, of course, leadership and uh, management. And I think this is where we, as young leaders, we can play a major role.